Welcome back to another video in the 5S video series. These are simple shareable solutions to help save you time and get you better sounding music in five minutes or less. Joining us today on the channel is our good friend Audio Surgeon with some great tips for beginners. Hey everybody, it's your pal Audio Surgeon. I want to thank Robert again for having me on and let me uh, give you guys some tips out there uh, for basically the beginners that are just wondering, uh, you know, how to get an audio recording and uh, what exactly are your expectations for, you know, whether you're going to be m making music or whether you just want to podcast. So there's, uh, I would probably say four different things that I would probably touch on and just explain maybe to give people an idea what they might be looking for. Know your budget. How much are you willing to invest and what are your expectations? Are you going to be doing music or are you going to podcast? In most situations, you don't have to get the latest and greatest in technology. In fact, a lot of equipment out there is very, very pricey. And so in most cases, you might not need those expensive equipments. In fact, do your research. Check everything that you possibly can. Get all the knowledge that you can, especially when it comes to synthesizers, music gear, and professional recording equipment. Now, it's always best to get what's moderate for you. Get to know your gear, especially if you have a hardware synthesizer, a mixer, something that includes, you know, an outside source other than your computer. Learn everything you can about it. Dive deep into menus. Learn as much as you possibly can. It only helps and benefits you, especially if it comes to like DAWs, software, and things like that. There's so many options to go through, so many things to explore. And the more that you look into it and the more that you surprise yourself for learning new things, you'll be able to go back and retract and do things faster, quicker, and more efficiently, especially with hardware synthesizers. Don't be afraid to go in there and mess around with the options. Change settings, see what other things do, especially with MIDI control and different things like that. And when, it, and when and if something does happen, you can always do a hardware reset. So if there's something that doesn't, you know, work anymore or something that, you know, for instance, isn't clicking, you can always go ahead and reset those settings. And that's included with most software as well. One thing that's for certain is that I do recommend that you go out and learn your software. Go out and get a great DAW. Or in, in fact, there are free ones out there as well. I know Cakewalk by BandLab is particularly the one that this channel focuses on. So if you don't have the income, go ahead and check it out. There's nothing wrong with checking out something that as long as it's free. So the great thing is if you like it, you can use it and it works for you. That's awesome. If you want to go out and expand and go into other you know ventures, there are definitely many different DAWs out there. But don't be confused because some of them, again, the prices might range range in certain areas that are kind of expensive. So unless you're willing to dive into many different programs, stick with the one that works for you. The one that I particularly recommend though is FL Studios. I particularly use FL Studios for most of my work. It's great for working out in music and also great for podcasting. So that's what I like to use it for. And don't forget, a good MIDI keyboard is always best. If you can't afford a synthesizer, a great MIDI keyboard is always going to do its best, especially with, you know, working with software. And don't forget, record, 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 record. Always record everything as much as you possibly can. It's always best to get everything that you can get onto your computer, record it, check it. Maybe years down the road, you'll see how much you've actually progressed with your, you know, the things that you've learned or for instance, musical technique. Uh, so for instance, if you're a musician, if you're looking into getting a lot more inputs, you would probably be, you know, looking at maybe like a mixer. Uh, but if you're going to be doing more like a podcasting, if you just need one microphone, you might look into something like an audio interface that only has a minimal amount of different inputs. Quality is always great, but always make sure that you get what's right for you. A lot of these mixers and a lot of these uh, equipments can be very, very pricey. Do what inspires you. You know, listen to your favorite music. Go out and enjoy art. Do things that you normally wouldn't do. Put yourself outside the box if you can. And do all your research on these things. And you'll see that eventually you'll become creative. You'll be able to be in control of your art. It's quite amazing, especially when you don't think that you have it in you. But most people, as long as they try and they're willing to take the time and look into it, they can do amazing things. And that's what's great about this whole community that, that Robert has going on is that we want to be able to teach and people to learn all the cool things that are available for us out there. And there's no better time than now, especially with the technology that we have, especially with all the cool software that we have. Creating things is as easy as one, two, and three. So if you take these tips and, you know, they're not exactly the most detailed things out there. They're kind of more basic information for people to kind of take in consideration. So take it one step at a time and you'll see that your art and creativity will go higher and higher.
And thank you again so much. My name is Audio Surgeon, and if you want to check me out, I'm on YouTube, SoundCloud, pretty much anywhere you can search Audio Surgeon. In fact, my podcast, Life in Space, is live on SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And again, I want to thank you so much, uh, Robert, for your for your generosity. It is so awesome that you're putting guys like me out there uh, on your channel and and sharing all the great tips that everybody has to offer. I want to say thank you again so much. You've been so kind and so generous. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day. And uh, again, thank you so much. <laughs>